Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new series. We are going to be playing on Baldur's Gate 3. So we have already tried local co-op in a previous video. video. Yeah. We have recorded it and everything. It would be uploaded on a channel. Um, but as you would probably know, if you've watched that episode in particular, we didn't get it. Well, I certainly didn't get no, on didn't with the... the um, it was a bit of a mess. It was constant <laughs> split screen and Obviously, you know, even in exploration and combat, it was just constant split screen. I could get on with it. And it's a shame they didn't actually copy what they've done in Divinity Original Sin 2, which, you know, in that, in that particular one, when we played co-op on that game, when you were together, it would go into, it would um, go into full screen. So you'd have all your characters on just one screen and not split screen. And it would be the same for combat. It would go into a proper, you know, turn-based, yeah. whoever turn it was, not... Because it was going at the same time, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, because in, in the, if you've watched the other version... It, we will put a link in the description or something. Yeah, to it? it. But in that particular one, we were both going at the same time, weren't we? Not yeah. individual, so it wasn't full screen in the combat, and it was just chaotic and very confusing. And I, I personally couldn't get on with it, so... What I was planning on doing was starting again, but doing one player because. And maybe if they do an update of up sorting the co op part and. You know, yeah, the if they do. I might do jump that. in at a late time. So it's, yeah. It's just have to wait and see. Yeah, so no, I'm, I'm going to start a new game. It's just going to be so much better. But what I'm going to do is um, play as somebody else, though. Because um, then we can quite, be a bit more. You weren't quite sure with your character, were you? Yeah, because we. Because, um, well, we'll go into it in a, in a little while, but um, yeah, so let us know what you think of this particular episode. If you really like it, give us a cheeky thumbs up and, you know, with that thumbs up, let us know if you if you want us to do a, a, a full, full series, series on the game. Yeah. Um, and let us know what you think, obviously, of the game as well in the comments below. And if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. It will really help our channel out and we love all your love and support so far guys so thank you so much for that but let's just jump back into start the whole new game and experience it properly so we won't have all this split screen nonsense <laughs> and hopefully in this one the you people might be able would... to concentrate a bit more because you're having yeah. conversations left right and then you're sort of exactly. oh, we'll do this sorry if you see me keep wiping my forehead it's, it's a bit hot. so <laughs> hot and humid here today oh <laughs> so yeah if you see me keep doing this don't <laughs> just just ignore it <laughs> But um, yes, hopefully the um, obviously the, the cinematics will be a lot more cleaner and hopefully they'll actually speak a lot more better as well because we, we obviously noticed there was a few glitches in the other version where they weren't speaking. They weren't and finishing their sentences. That, yeah, things, it almost it? skipped it, didn't yeah, it? It skipped <laughs> certain sentences when they were talking. It was really strange. So hopefully that won't do that. So let's just continue. So I'm going to do balanced again. Oh. Hopefully this oh, will be a lot a shame more better. Because I was looking forward to doing a co-op. Yes, but, but we also did a bit more research, and split screen was in native 30 fps rather than 60 fps. So hopefully this will be a lot more cleaner and better quality. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Apples. Go for his mm. snack. I would close my oh, eyes. Oh. I'll just hold them mm. shut, won't you? <laughs> that must be an absolutely scary experience to see that. And 
to feel it. Reminds you of Alien, oh. really. The Alien films where they have set, several sets of teeth, didn't they? How are you? <laughs> reset to toys. Welcome back. Okay, so it's already recognised, but I don't want to reset it because, as, as I say, it was so chaotic you couldn't notice the tutorials sometimes. So we're going to keep the tutorials. But I'll just do a little expa explanation of what those things were they were mind flares so if you haven't watched the other video that we've uploaded just to give you a taste of what co-op was like <laughs> um but they were called mind flares and they were in the original two games beforehand yeah exactly the original we have played older games and basically they have an ability that can turn your character onto their side and obviously then they'll start attacking your characters which is what they did in the older games and you had to spend most of your time trying to run away from them when you <laughs> dealt with the mind players but um, <laughs> so whether they have that same ability in this i don't know but that's exactly what they were doing um but they were super super tough to, to beat but that was there was a little bit something new in there we did the tadpole things they were yeah, new, we so we didn't know what they were but yeah and also that woman in that Pod. I haven't seen her race before. No. So there are a few bits that are actually new in this version. So obviously we don't know everything, but <laughs> we'll try and key you in and explain a few bits as we're going along. And um, but what we'll do is we'll still go through the origin characters and the introduction in this game as well, um, just in case you haven't watched the other version. So here we go. So this is Astarian. So let's play his introduction. Hello, darling. Don't be shy. I promise not to bite until we've been formally introduced. My name's Astarian, and I've spent a century stalking the night, hunting for pretty morsels just like you. A man called Cazador made me what I am, kept me like a pet, forced me to do his bidding. No more. The Tadpole's influence broke his dominance over me, and now I can finally pursue the one thing I've hungered for these long, dark years. Revenge. I'm going back to Baldur's Gate to track Cazador down in his lair. I'll be the last thing the bastard ever sees. <laughs> I already like him. <laughs> He's a pretty cool character. <laughs> but yeah, oh, what the heck? You have to keep going down. <laughs> so yeah, so these are basically origin characters which will have their the backstory. own backstory and their personal quest as well. So this is definitely something that they've taken from Divinity Original Sin 2. So you can play as these, or as we'll show you in a moment, there is a certain origin character that you can play as and customise your different races. Because these these certain characters, these ones, you can't actually customise very well. So we'll get to that in a minute anyway. So this is Lazelle, and yeah, she's certainly a race that we've not actually... I think they were in the older games, but they weren't a playable race. So they've obviously made them a playable race, but she looks super, super damn cool. <laughs> and she said that says she's a fighter, so let's hear her backstory and introduction. Since I was born in the cold reaches of world space, I have known but one purpose to wield a silver sword and ride a red dragon in service of my regent, the Githyanki Queen Vlakith. My first step on this path is to slay a mind flayer and bring its head to my queen. There is no flesh I will not carve, and no barrier I will not shatter to see it done. I am the one who sunders. I am the undying queen's most unshakable warrior. I am Lazel of Kalir. A pretty damn cool character. That'd be interesting to play as her, but I don't 
Yeah, and to be I, I'm going to drag it. It's quite yeah. fascinating. Yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> That's something new. <laughs> oh, oh God's sake. Why does it keep going down? <laughs> so, this is Gale. He's a wizard, as you can obviously see from how he dress. <laughs> Let's see his introduction. Well met, stranger. You find yourself in the presence of the renowned wizarding prodigy, Gale of Waterdeep. Please, no need to be intimidated. My virtuosic talents once caught the eye of the goddess of magic herself, Mistra, who named me her chosen and her lover. Thanks to a slight miscalculation on my part, that relationship eventually soured, as did the greatest of my powers. Now I'm merely a humble wizard on the road to redemption. Unless I can find the path to something greater. So, as usual, they've got to put some dashing romantic <laughs> in the game. <laughs> and that's in the form of Gale. <laughs> Although Asterion is quite dashing and romantic in a, sort of, a creepy kind of vampire way, but I still <laughs> like him anyway. <laughs> So that's Gale. This is Shadowheart. She's a half elf, actually, so and a cleric. So let's see her introduction. My name is Shadowheart, loyal servant of Shah, goddess of darkness and loss. There is little more I can tell you than that. My Lady Shah tasked me with a mission of such secrecy that I surrendered great swathes of my memory in order to safeguard the knowledge of it. All I know is that I must bring the artifact I hold to Baldur's Gate, and that nothing can stand in my way. My goddess is watching. So, does she actually know what the artifact is? Well, obviously not if she's... Lost a lot of her memory. So, she's a cleric, but she almost dresses more like a paladin, which yeah, was like, like a I fighter she slash. She's actually, quite a lot of um, elves on this yeah lineup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is Will, which is quite an interesting name of spelling it. Um, he's human and he's a warlock. He's obviously he's got some sort of weapon of some kind, so a bit like a witcher. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see his introduction. Seven years ago, I was exiled from Baldur's Gate, the city I call home. My name is Will, but the people of the Sword Coast call me the Blade of Frontiers, champion of the meek, defender of the innocent. The truth isn't quite so simple, but they're right about one thing. I hunt monsters, and I always catch my prey. My latest target is a devil, and I'm right on her tail. Once I'm through with her, she'll never escape the fires of the first hell. So he's actually hunting a devil then. Mm. First hell? Is there <laughs> more than one? <laughs> <laughs> so that's Will. Oh, so is she like a oh, devil like creature? Well, it doesn't say a devil as such, but that's. No, she's called Titan. So this is Karlak, she's a barbarian. Look at that tail. <laughs> she looks like she's like from a hell or some sort. Ten years ago, I was sold to the Archdevil Zariel. She put a hellfire engine in my chest and made me her prized soldier. But I've escaped now. Thank you, Mind Flayers. And I've got a few scores to settle. If this engine doesn't burn me to ash first, I'll need people I can trust. An infernal mechanic and a serious amount of luck. But you know what? I'm not worried. After ten years in the Hells, I can take on anything. I've got my chance at freedom. And believe me, I'm going home. She definitely said yeah. hells, as if mm. there's more than one, like a layer. Is it like but several she looks, layers? 
look like a right uh, interesting character, which is who I chose to play in, in the, the co-op. Ver- yeah, the other version. Uh, and she, yeah, she sees she's a barbarian. Yeah, she swiped the enemies away with one. <laughs> yeah. So this is the um, origin character I was talking about that I might actually choose because it would be one that you actually have a certain personal quest with and you can change the appearance of this particular character. The other ones you can't, so they're fixed. That does actually say here your appearance and class. Yeah, exactly. So you can change your race, your class, and yeah, so... It's a bit restrictive. I don't know why you can do a bit of customization with the others. Yeah, I mean, it it could have, yeah, it could have been more interesting to have a different background, a sort of history to yourself, but let's let's play this introduction. It's a bit dark and morbid version, Mm. but... Perhaps that's a sort of challenge. My rancid blood whispers to me, kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair, I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. As I said, a bit more <laughs> and a bit bloodthirsty. <laughs> but that is the only origin character you can actually Customise. Mm. Um, or it's just doing your own thing, but you don't get to have a backstory. Backstory, basically. exactly. So it's either that, you know, I choose somebody who has a history that will probably come with their own personal quest that will, you know, um, discover along the way. And so this is what I can command them. So identity, mm. is this? No. Yeah, I did it so that'd be female, yeah. So where would you where actually to next? Who is your race then? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the lo- Pals. Something just woke up down here. Hmm? Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. That's quite interesting. They've obviously got um four of each voice, four male and four female. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. What was that? That's Hells. Something just woke up down here. That's quite a nice voice. Yeah. Well, um, can you actually are you keeping two a lizard type version? I don't know. What's this random mean? <laughs> Shark thing. It hasn't actually gone to like changing your race or anything. Yeah, exactly. So well, you have to randomise it to sort of do something. I don't know, it won't do anything. It's just going through different different versions types. of that. Well, yeah. So um, does that change the voice again? It's dead. Where? Hmm. Let's go up there. <laughs> what was that? Where's the should be an area where you can actually change your race. Yeah. But I don't see that. No. Because we did watch a bit of someone on the computer version who was able to change to a human. So in this. Ah, hang on um, a minute. Ah. So you have to go through all that. <laughs> that's the old yeah. So it went straight into appearance, so that's a Dragon Ball race, which is all more sort of dragon-like, hence why they're called Dragon Ball. Oh gosh, oh, half orc. <laughs> nice tusks. <laughs> yeah. Nip. <laughs> so, oh, that's a gnome. I think they were a playable race in the older game. No, I think dwarfs. I don't think we ever... There's halfling game. definitely were. But there's no much difference between them two. <laughs> half elf. So that's what um, Shadowheart is. I've always played as an elf because I quite like playing as an elf. I don't know why, I just do. Um, what's the, what's the other and, one? That's, that's the dwarf. And more muscly. That's the gift Yankee. Really long ears. There's another type of elf. Oh, that's 
human. But ah, so that, that's the drow, that's so that's like a dark, dark elf yeah. version. They were quite, um, they were almost they're portrayed like a, as almost like he, evil, yeah. more evil sort of race. But whether they've just kind of changed that, I don't know. But that's a typhus. Oh, she's staring that's at a tail. That's what the That's different to what uh, the other woman Maybe that depends on, perhaps the Asmodeus is like, I don't know, the demon or devil that they're under. Because yeah. she she had a specific, for her, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, that's a full high elf. elf. That's a, a high elf, yes. Elven weapon training. So you, you can customise all of this. But they, these are all sort of like what you can... Um, what you're proficient in weapon wise what so extra things you can get so you can so long as so a high elves are more proficient with long sword short sword short bow and long bow so what i'm thinking possibly is being like a mage type cast character so perhaps a a high elf isn't the right category then maybe because that doesn't sound well, that's, that's, that's quite quite quite, a sorcerer well, anyway so what's the there's human. Um, that obviously that's half that's elf. High half elf. High half. Elf. So you still get the racial speed. Um, you don't get the elven. Unless there isn't like a proficiency specific to races, then maybe. But you had the elven training that seemed to do the different um, weapons. Yeah. So this is this is including like spears, pikes. Because the more proficiency you have in a certain weapon, you'll get bonuses to that weapon. If you're not proficient in that particular weapon, you actually get negative um, aspects. As yeah, yeah. Aspects. negative sort of yeah. attack roll. So you, for argument's sake, you'll get less a, a damage from that weapon because you're not um, proficient in, in it. So. Um, so this is all like um, that's how and like I don't know. I always thought perhaps like a high elf would actually be more suited to be a, a sorceress or something, like a magic user because they're they're supposed to be intelligent, right? Well, they all got to have the base because you're it's set as a sorcerer. Yeah. Right? So, but it's just giving you extra. It's not like adding quarter staffs or or anything like that into the proficiency, is it? Yeah. And that's clearly what you use. So well, that doesn't call them quarter staff anyway. As if that is an actual it should be, unless that I take it that doesn't come under glade. <laughs> I don't know, I don't That does say inspect, but I don't know. They all seem to come up with base racial speed. Do they all say that? <laughs> Medium armor. So yeah, so you would only, as a mage like type character, you'd only be able to wear light armor, which is things like leather armor and robes. So you won't have very much defense. Because um, in the original games, if you wore any higher armor, uh, like heavy armor or anything, it actually stopped you from using your magic. So I don't <laughs> yes, know if they've done exactly. that in this. So perhaps to protect myself, then maybe I should become a high art. Uh, Half elf, and whether glaive might actually be part of. So it's got spear, pike. They're all like long weapons. So whether the glaive is actually a um, comes under the possible halberd type weapons. <laughs> um, so let's try that one. That's subway. So I actually get fireball. I think I can change that. Can I? No, no, I can't change that. So. Well, that does say in specs. No, that doesn't what do anything. What does it do else. when you go across? What's oh, there? Why wouldn't it be in that bit then? Or is that just saying that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this is judging by my the sorcerer though. So, is it a sorcerer where you want to be? Can I change that? But well, the the class is next though. So. Okay, so this is what I, I would choose as a specific race type ability then. What? They look like there's different ones there that you saw on the, the other version. Game, yeah. So like that's the acid man. splash. 
bone chill. So they, these will do different like damage and so the fire actually does most damage so far. Oh, actually poison that, spray but... does quite a bit, but you, you might be able to hit your own people with that, especially when it's a spray, because you can actually hurt your own people. So there's nothing to sort of protect your own people from your own attacks. That's how more challenging <laughs> it is. So you have to be so careful with this type of game. I did actually forget to um, say that if anybody doesn't actually, um, if they haven't watched the previous version, you know, our, our co-op version, and you don't know anything about this game, this is actually a fantasy RPG. So a lot of strategy is involved in the way that you get uh, in combat and exploration is definitely key in this because we need to up level up our character as much as possible so we will be doing a huge amount of um, side missions and side yeah. missions exploration we will be doing a lot of that so we're not going to get out of that <laughs> at all <laughs> so okay so what i think in the last one i did keep to the fire bolt didn't i but um yeah, these are like things. illuminated well i've got i can see in the dark with my character so that's not even important um and that, that is a, an interesting one because that can protect me for, for half damage from blood two wound turns. piercing and slashing but that only lasts for two turns um, and that's based on my intelligence two strike so that's improving concentration i suppose and accuracy using that so as a major i don't it's, it's not as if it has um any healing in that though, does it? So, I don't know. You don't want to dwell too long on this. <laughs> Sorry? You don't want to dwell too no. long on this. So, you know what, I'm just going to keep to that. Let's go, so this is the Sorcerer build. Uh, I'll go across. Yeah, so you can scroll across there. So at the moment, it's giving me access to Bone Chill, Acid Splash, True Strike, Light, Chromatic or the Magic Missile. They're all pretty basic level one slots. Um, that says Dagger Proficiency. Quarter Staff Proficiency. Yeah. So that would actually add. So that's come under the actual class ah. rather than the race. So perhaps I could change my race back to a high elf then. Maybe. Does that make more sense being more of a... Well, it doesn't make any difference. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just thinking of... Maybe you, know, you can use play. swords, I suppose, but... Okay. You can use swords and things with a high Yeah. Hand, but... I'm just thinking more along the lines of... Um, with intelligence, with my character's intelligence, maybe... You know what? I'm going to go back to full high elf. And then... So what we've got... So we've got Warlock, which is what Will was. Um, I don't want to choose something that... You know some of the origin characters already are because we want to choose something a bit different so that's the wizard i think they they that have subclasses don't they sort of like sub Bog. the rogue ranger i don't think any of them were a ranger were they that's got fine familiar on this you can actually have an animal friend let's, let's have a look at paladin so that's another one that wasn't so the paladin is someone who can do a lot of defensive and healing spells, and a bit like a cleric. Um, Channel Oath Charge. Monk. So that was definitely in the... That was... A, it, they they bought out the Xbox version, yeah. they? they bought the new... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, because in the, in the older versions, they did bring them out, the first and second one out recently, last, like, two years ago, was it, on console? And they did add ac extra... Um, classes, didn't they? And the characters, characters in the game. Yeah. And Monk was actually one of them. <laughs> so that's a full on. <laughs> yeah, I want to pick something that isn't going to be the same as what we've already got. That's a druid, so that's quite. Speak with animals, you've got that. He can't cute, speak. So you that's get the. Yeah, quite so you get cute. Thunder wave. Animal thing. Charm. So you get. So you can actually get charm person because foods are more, you know, into nature and things. Yeah. Long yeah. stride. Is that all unlocked? I don't know. That's no. all. That's all level one spells. So. And you, you get quarter staff in that as well. Scimitar. So if we need to use that, that's quite an interesting class to use. Maybe. 
Let's have a look at all the other ones though. <laughs> That's a cleric, so that's what a shadow heart is. So I don't want to choose something that somebody else has already um, is. It's just not good. <laughs> like you, you could usually do songs to boost your character's morale. Like yes. Um, make that includes more healing, but that's a barber. So there isn't so as many <laughs> classes there that I can actually choose on that no, nothing else has um, actually already got. And then druid, monk, There's Paladin, Ranger. that wasn't used. Ranger, yeah. yeah. The other one that was... Oh, that was it. Rogue. No, Rogue, um, Astarian. Oh, He's a Rogue. So all the other ones pretty much are taken. So I'm, I think so. I don't... Well, we didn't actually have a Sorcerer, did we? It uh, wasn't a Sorcerer either. Well, just this, um, the Lizard. <laughs> Wait, yeah, he was already set, uh, set as that. But, whether that be more important to have somebody who can do healing spells though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Quite, um, I think possibly Druid I'm going to go for. Plus yep. you like nature anyway, so. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that Shililag is a, so that usually that means I can conjure a club in my hands. So that's conjuring a weapon in my hands, actually, and I can use that's, that can count as like a magical weapon, and that would help against creatures that have bonuses against magic weapons and such. Um, so that's an interesting one, but usually when it gets further along the line of um, getting harder and harder enemies, that gets less and less um, usability out of it, doesn't it? It gets less and uh, weaker and weaker, so you you you're more likely need to. Um, Choose, I don't know, something else that might be more helpful. <laughs> so, that's so, a conjuration, so... So that can create light and you can also use it as a weapon. So, this is resistant, so it makes a target more resistant to spell effect and conditions. That's a, like a defensive spell for an ally or yourself. Um, that's the poison spray. Um, or guidance, which... So casting that on an ally will give them an extra damage bonus, basically, for 10 turns. That's not too bad. I, I might want... I think I want to change that one, though. I don't know whether that's actually... Pulls the creature three metres closer to you. Is that wise? <laughs> the target. I'm going to take that one off, and I might actually have that one. I think that makes more sense. Um... Ah, so, so I've got a, a choice. So I've got Cure Wounds, I'm going to keep that. I've got Entangle. Mm -hmm. That could be a bit tricky because that can... In, um, it's entangle. a spell that is like an area of effect in a certain area and that will entangle enemies and allies. So that can get a little bit tricky to use. Um, but it does stop them in their tracks and they can't do anything. But yes, that does. That will do... Um, oh, that's healing as well. Um, but that will do... Um, Entangle allies as well, so we've got to be a bit careful about that. So that conjures four magical berries, which you can use to heal basically. into your or a companion's inventory. So Creatures they amazing. can eat it and so that let luck. So that will last until you rest. Then a long rest. Obviously, there's like a short and a long rest part. Thunderwave. I've never heard thunderwave. Thunder Release a wave of thunderous force that pushes away all. That might be quite useful. Um, but let's have a look at what the other spells are. So that's Ice Knife. 3 to 20 do them. You can do quite a lot. Yeah. So that's judging and by then... a dull rice. Well, a dull. A dice rice. Dice rice. <laughs> <laughs> a dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so. So you so can, can throw... throw it and then there's an extra, it does an extra explosion. explosion. So that's quite ha That might be quite handy actually. But let's have a look at the other one. Fog cloud. That's so also another handy one, but that can blind and heavily obscure creatures within it. So when it says creatures, that can mean that can usually mean enemies and allies. So again, it's it's a bit tricky. Um, speak with animals. So gain the ability to comprehend and communicate with beasts. That's very druidic, mm. but <laughs> yeah. Do I change? It's difficult. Animal friendship. So this. 
the creature must have an intelligence of three or less. That lasts for ten turns. So, you, so obviously, if they're more stronger animal, then that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> In higher difficulty modes, the target might become hostile when the spell ends. Condition ends early if you or an ally hurts the target. Right. So that automatically. Oh, oh so that's a charm person specifically. That can be quite handy if, you know, you can actually, um, that might actually be quite handy to have. I might, what would you, I might have that one, but I don't know whether to change the gooseberry one, maybe. I've got the other cure wounds, but I'm just wondering. This is long, long stride. So it gives you an extra three metres. Right. That's until long rest, so whether that means until you actually rest your character, I don't know. Enhanced sleep, so triple jumping distance. Ten turns. Fairy fire. All targets within the light turn visible and attack rolls against them have advantage. So, basically if any animals turn, uh, cast a spell of invisibility or something, is it? Possibly. That's a bit, it's just, they've changed the name of it, so it's, mm -hmm. very, it's very different. So this is obviously another healing. But it does less healing than the other one, so... Um, so that's one you can do from a distance one. Ah, so is the other one so I touch. can touch? So yeah, you usually had to go up to them and heal them. Or fourth rain or destroy a water base. Or fourth rain or destroy. That's usually handy to douse out fire. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know, what what other one could possibly be useful, do you think? That's animal friendship. Yeah, but that depends on, you know, if you get a level up, you can actually unlock a spell slot. Yeah. Or something, but that one. Just go with what you... That gives you extra three metre movement speed. But... Would that be more um, useful? Or should I just keep the gooseberry because it's an extra healing? I don't know. And then that's triple a creature's jumping distance. See, that's it also. Quite cool. And it lasts for 10 turns. So. <laughs> there's too many good ones. <laughs> there is. But then there's also that one. Ice knife. You know what? I'm going to change that to ice knife because at the moment we've got a lot of defensive spells and, you know, that'll do. <laughs> so, background. Oh, so. What's this one then? This is background. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your, your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. So, I acquire the following medicine, medicine skill, proficiency, and intimidation. So, is that from the class? Um, I, I can't, I don't think I can change that. So, no, that is part of the, the dark blood. edge. Yeah. So, I can manipulate uh, these actually. I'm you actually got quite low intelligence. Yeah. Do I need to change that? I thought intelligence was That's spellcasting for... for wizards. Yeah. Was it? But well, this is for clerics, druids, and rangers. Yeah, so but it's, it's intelligence on, does do, still seem a bit low, though. I'm not going to lie. But do I need dexterity so much? That affects armor. Agility, class, and it, well, it could help you dodge from dodge yeah, attacks. Yeah, I suppose so. that could be. Yeah. But this is this is going by what was left. From like the source, it didn't change, did it? It doesn't have a thing to say use recommended. <laughs> so that's a. So I can. So that's applying a two bonus to wisdom. Yeah, I see. What those green dots are saying. The thing is, wis intelligence looks a bit low, though, even for a druid. It, intelligence just still cast a, a role for. Magic, I thought, but yeah. But you can always stick it on it if you want. Or do I put the plus one bonus? I don't know. Yes. I get a plus two constitution checks, stamina, and physical endurance. So that, more that will. Uh, so it'll come with the thirteen base points, but the basic constitution is my health points. Ooh, I don't know. Now, at the moment, my, I've got a minus one intelligence check. What happens if I do that then? Does that change that? That still says minus one. 
don't know. Maybe I should just leave it as that. It's a bit it's a bit strange because I can't I can manipulate it ah, right. I can do individual mm. ones. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I think intelligence is gonna be important though. Is it still going to say minus one? Minus one. Now yeah. it says naught. But because usually the base level is ten. That's what it has always been. Is that what it said minus? So but I And usually for a mage the constitution was always quite lower for like a mage sorcerer type build, so I don't know. It's a very difficult one. I'm not going to lie, it's very difficult to... Do I keep it to what it was? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you can usually add more points in when you get levels. I, I so. can't remember if it did do that in the original. But... So what do I, I have? I've got nature. plus one in nature An at the moment. Hand more handy which means I could just pet all the, the dogs. <laughs> what about the cats? Are there any cats? <laughs> I could do insight. I haven't got insight. Read people in situations. What's nature then? Recognise plants and animals. You can have trees. trees. <laughs> you can be well a that's tree a dru level. very druid. But why is it only plus one? <laughs> <laughs> so the little dots beside them are the only ones I can actually put a point on which is mm. a bit strange but so survival. I could do survival which stay alive in the wild and chat you more for your ranger. ranger. So I can only do survival insight. I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. Um, let's change the appearance a little bit. I've got to zoom in straight away. So that so there's two. That's a, more of a butch. butch. I don't think that goes with the. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, more for your fighter. Let be wary. Go is back to the magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Same voice. Yeah, that's the one that I think. Right, so let's choose a head. Head. <laughs> so, I didn't want to spend as much time doing this, but I've literally fallen into that fallen trap. into doing that. <laughs> Got quite a pretty, uh, nice face as it is, to be fair. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to keep that actually. Um, is there a different purple? Oh, you can get purple. <laughs> what is that? Whoa. <laughs> That's for your drow, isn't it? That was, that, on, that was on that. That's quite a nice skin tone. A little bit of sun. <laughs> Very tanned. Which probably actually makes sense when you're out in the woods all day. <laughs> I'm going to keep that on For sure. For sure. What, are you going to make yourself look old? Oh, yeah. here comes oh, the wrinkles. wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep myself looking young. What does it not percent mean you're an infant? <laughs> Freckles, actually. What's that look like? There comes freckles. Does that look? No. Why don't I have a little bit of freckles going on? <laughs> there we go, a little bit of freckles. You probably Not you can just dots. about notice it, but <laughs> intensity. Pigmentation. I think that's like skin pigmentation. It's just like you're gonna have different coloured eyes. <laughs> what colour eyes do I go for? I like the green, but I do like a blue eye. I've got purple. Hello. <laughs> you know what? That could actually match with Yennefer's <laughs> out of The Witcher in the series. She has purple eyes. <laughs> that looks actually quite nice, to be fair. That colour. We'll go for it then. <laughs> quite nice. Tattoo. Do I have a tattoo? Whoa. Okay, there's quite a lot of tattoos. You've got to have some birds on your face, look. <laughs> on your cheek. <laughs> That's very druidic. <laughs> What else? Oh, lip tattoos? Seriously? At least you can actually put tattoos and, and this is what I like about games like this. At least you can actually, you know, make them your own. You know. I should just keep it as that. It's actually. a long, it's quite nice. full on facial yeah. tattoo. Do I keep it to black? I 
in ten is that? Is that already on a hundred then? Does that dull it down a bit? Yeah. Yeah. So you can have it. Yeah. Not so strong, or you yeah, change. That's a bit bright. Work. No way. <laughs> what about red or burgundy? Although it's not, it look like it's changed very much. But you know what? I don't want to um, spend too much time doing all this. She's got eyeliner on it, but you know what? I like a smoky eye. Hello. <laughs> Quite like that actually. It's more of, uh, less intense. Less intense and more on the upper eyelid, which is also quite nice. I don't think I'll go for those other ones. <laughs> that's I think that's all the all of them, isn't it? So let's just see what that one looks like. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> no, I, I quite like both of them. <laughs> Maybe go for that. For sake, I haven't even got into the gameplay yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've gone too much into. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to leave that. Uh, lip tint. <laughs> so that's the oh, oh. metallic. That's changing. She's got on pink. Really? It's because the um on the north. Yeah. Is that and put that's increasing the. That's quite a nice colour, but do I increase? Like 40 cent then? Something like that. That looks quite nice. I think it looks quite nice. Unless it doesn't go well with my eye colour. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Uh, okay. I've <laughs> do I check? Do I check a... Um... You know what? Just leave it. it. <laughs> I don't want a scar. Uh, Hairstyle. Hairstyle. What have I got? Ooh, ponytail. It doesn't even start the beginning. <laughs> What's a very elfy kind of hairstyle, do you think? We won't do sort of season. It's like a braid, I suppose, is more well, quite, quite elfish. Nice. Gosh, that's like a bun, is it? Bun with some hair and fun. A sock of hair, hair do it. That one. Yeah. <laughs> that's not too bad, but is it like. Does it look a bit wild? <laughs> <laughs> or is it how it's supposed to look? Because you drew it. Almost quite sort of, I don't know, almost Viking esque kind of hairstyle. I really didn't think I was going to spend this long <laughs> doing a character creation. Oh, a bit of a bold spot. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> this one. Well, certainly quite, but does it suit my character? Too much of No. Too, but I think like almost like a shorter sort of style or even sort of tied back isn't it that mm. sort of quite suits me it's not too bad unless I, I I didn't mind the sort of scruffy was it that one wasn't it yeah I think there's a slightly longer one there. that one yeah gosh sort of dreadlocks that's lagger for hairstyle that is <laughs> I mean, I don't mind that, but, um, see, that's the... It's quite nice. Oh, there's too many choices. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Do I just keep it as a nice little updo, do you think? That's your choice. <laughs> Hair colour, you know what? Let's just keep it as that. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend too much. Piercings? You can get piercings? Really? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh my gosh. You know what? Earrings. <laughs> uh, elves, druids in particular, would not have piercings. What the heck's genitals? I don't know. You don't <laughs> see anything. Hide clothes? What's um. supposed to mean? Okay. Does that mean that I'll show you nudity? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's what they'll do. Okay, I think... I think... We've come to 
a decision. I mean, I hope the genitals are white for a woman. <laughs> so it's a default, but... <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Um, is, that, is that your name? <laughs> yeah, because that's the... You know, I'm not going to call myself that. <laughs> I'm going to... You know, does Aora sound like a very selfish name? I think I'm going to just call it Aora. That would do. I think we've done a good job there. Shoes. Guardian. Guardian. Oh gosh, what's the Guardian do? Right, okay, so who should we choose then? <laughs> do we have a dark elf to our light elf? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> oh my god. Okay. You know what? We don't actually see very many vowels, but they are more of a aggressive. Aggressive, sort of. yeah. Do I choose human? Do you think? Would you, would you go for a woman or a male next time? That's a very manly sort of man there. Or the butch. Oh, maybe we could do a guilt. <laughs> Remarkable. Let's give him a female voice. <laughs> okay. I don't mind the face he's got, to be fair, but. I'm just going to keep it. I'm not, I don't want to spend forever and a day on a guardian which. I don't know what the Guardian's supposed to do. Um, makeup style. Lifting? Scarring? Do we choose a scar, maybe? Is that very guilty style? <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not over the eyes, but... I mean, that's, that's over the eyes. Does that look menacing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep that. That's close enough. I like... Oh, he's actually got a man. You know what? No, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this, so let's just... Let's just leave it as that. Venture forth. There we go. <laughs> Done. Oh, oh no, no, I've got a hold of that. Oh, that's 50 minutes of <laughs> I think we didn't spend as long on the other one. In the other one, did we? I think the lighting's quite dark in here, actually. I've just noticed yeah, the, so the sun's gone away a bit. <laughs> So we'll go and turn the lights on. That's a bit better. the bell. He just reaches it. Oh no. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> That's <good. laughs> That's some speedy transportation. <laughs> They look like the Githranki, don't they? Yeah, because they're, they're the ones that the dragon line racing. Sort of 
It might not be the dragon so much as the riders that can creep. There is one. They would have had to have known where he travelled to, right? random floating pillars. Yeah, it is, it is. We do them all too well. <laughs> this hell, do you think? It's very fiery. <laughs> I think I think imps were from like a hell world. Hellish sort of plane. blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. So we get to start choosing the dialogue. Curse whoever did this to you. Say your, Say your name aloud. You have a, aloud. You have a part of yourself. Take a deep breath. Shake your head. And stop. So basically, you only have your name and nothing else. Yeah. You have nothing at all. <laughs> Say my name. Aloud. Urge. That's not my name. Whatever that <laughs> is, no. that is you. You <laughs> will claw back the truth, but first you have to claw your way out of here. Okay. Oh, my head. So this is quite cool. Oh, mind player pod. Is there anybody in there? Someone else got out. They're not updated. So that that's the is that the pod that was next to mine or was this? Until might be other survivors. Or is that Gith Yankee came out of it? That's that's. Tell me who I've got there. This is, that's the journal one. Escape the Nautiloids. Is that what that's called then? The urge. Be yourself. Think, think dirty. Th th no thanks. <laughs> special, yes. Special, aren't you? Just don't fight it. You know what you need to do. Take up that knife. Do what you do best. Easy as breathing. You'll feel better after. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to fight the urge. Not everyone made it out alive. Oh, so there's, there's somebody in there. Mm. I'm not going to get too close to that. That looks a bit. Oh! That God, it doesn't play. Dead. Hello. Dead. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Empty. That automatically literally says empty right there. That is dumb. That's where you got that. that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Oh, just imagine it wiggling around. <laughs> Investigate. Don't fancy. You've got to get 10 or above, is it? Oh, I think maybe I add bonus. Come on. Ooh. Oh. I won. 
A critical success. I think that's probably the highest you can get, is it? The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. They look all dead in there, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Don't want to reach towards the <laughs> I, I don't think that's a great idea, but um, I think I'm going to leave. You can't live a little. <laughs> no, you, want me to, you want me to read some of this? The pool that thing there came you. from. The parasite yeah. now writhing behind your eye. Oh, God. Hmm. What's going to happen? Oh. Ow! Well, thanks for that. <laughs> great. <laughs> I've now lost three hit points. Blame you. What's those? Everything. Oh, that's a, oh. Restoration. Restoration. Oh, you can heal yourself. I feel better. Thank God I had that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was a bad sign. <laughs> I won't be taking advice from you anymore. <laughs> Look, Got goblin. Me. I won't be needing that, I'm sorry. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. It's actual shit. You got little tablets or something? A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. And sit down and read it while for one to beyond worlds flash before your eyes empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this really? that's not a big ass mind flayer horticulture Wayne in there <laughs> a thousand years of humanoid history elves dwarves humans and more flash behind your eyes Oh, I'm gonna pick that chair up, am I? Oh, he's coming. Yeah, oh, it's going up a little bit. It's like a, an elevator. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Oh, it's going up a little bit. It's like a Use Granger. Oh. Mm. It doesn't look good. Oh my god, it's wiggling. Oh, his brain's moving. Yes. You've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. Am I talking to a man or a brain? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. You sound afraid. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Minion? Sound afraid. Destroy I the can brain. destroy the brain. The enemy. So many enemies. Why is it wiggling so much? <laughs> I think you're past the point of saving. Too. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. In what way? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Investigate. Inspect the exposed brain. Strength. Break the skull. Break the skull. Gently the brain. Ah, so they, I think these um, ones in the brackets, do they use a dice roll? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's using my intelligence. I'm gonna get. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, dear. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Hang it. <laughs> well, well, I don't think my character, especially, has got strength as a. <laughs> Not really. Ooh, what do I do then? <laughs> Gently poise the brain from the brain from the 
Yeah. Or just destroy the brain. Why would you even want to live as a brain? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shut up. Gently prize the brain. I'm defending what you do it. Oh, plus two. Oh, I actually succeeded. <laughs> he's like, but his eyes oh. are moving. Oh. The brain oh. lifts from the skull. How's that gently? But do you notice an opportunity? You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Oh god. <laughs> Imagine god. a brain full of holes, a brain like you. Spare the creature, any injuries might be. I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go down my dark path. <laughs> I could just lob it in a jar and walk away. Perhaps I could have just destroyed it, but. Oh my god, it's oh. jumping. Oh. How it? What the? It's going lakes and... Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. <laughs> so wait, is it going to follow me? All right, yeah, let's go. Yeah. What's at the helm? I've helped you once, but that's all I can do. I'll go, but not with you. What shall I call you and attack the boat? That all the... That's yeah. all the options. What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Is that what they're created for? We are needed to navigate. Mm. What's the same video? It's it's almost like is it going to come with me? <laughs> she says, "All right, let's go," and then it's, "I'll go, but not with you." <laughs> what should I call you? Us. <laughs> we are us. We are us. us. Mm. Are you connected to many other planes? <laughs> So you can see what they can do. <laughs> to the helm we go. We are going to the helm. It's just a bit creepy though. Oh, yeah, it is. Is it like a sub? It's attached. Is it like a sub sort of hmm. follower, do you think? Huh? I don't think there's anything else up here, is there? You know, you're gonna walk up there? <laughs> How can you grow arms and legs from a brain? Okay, I think this is the only way I can go now. Just don't. In the fire. <laughs> Us lost yeah. condition. You. Well, it just says 21 of 21 now. It's got gained health. Yeah. And yet before it was 11 of 11. That What's all that? Made it a spag. Sorry, but my character looks pretty epic, even <laughs> with blood spattered all over. I think I did a fairly good job. <laughs> that was an epic jump. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face. Seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. You are no thrall. Flakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Oh, she's, she can <laughs> join my gang, can't she? Mm. What made you think I was a fool? Who are you? We need to figure out where we are. You suggest. We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. 
We will turn so, into one of them. And if you're turning into mind flayers, there must be something we can do. We ask who we are, though. Who she is, oh, sorry. Yeah. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Maybe I should Don't turn away. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. What are they nibbling? We find the helm and take control of the ship. They as for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. <laughs> Stabbed its food. Initiative. Oh, it's actually a... Oh. I might control the brain first. Yeah. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> so what can I actually do as the brain? I can dash, claws, jump, hide, disengage. I haven't got anything else. That is all I've got. Four to ten. Dash out. Got a ninety. I'm gonna lash it. The lash out. Oh, yes. Oh, it killed him straight bit. away. Right. I'm going to move a bit closer. That'll end my turn. I'm fury. I'm death. This is what it should have looked like in the split. Exactly. So basically, it should have been what the single, did. you know, turn based, yeah. proper turn based, not. Because in the original, other, other version we did, it did both of us at the same time, and that, that just didn't track. <laughs> He's got a ranged attack. attack. Make a ranged attack with your equipped weapon. Main Did hand you... attack. That's good. Like... Gift rank is so. What's the mage hand? Make a mage spectral hand that can manipulate it. Oh. Hamstring shot. That's what you... So she does have a bow and arrow then. Pummel strike. But so daze, daze the target. Or, or possibly daze him. <laughs> so it's mm -hmm. a, a non lethal. That's lacerate. That makes so that make him bleed over time, so I'll do more damage. This is an action. It's a normal action. Rush attack. That's for two turns. Four to seven damage. Non-lethal attacks. Second wind. Yeah. That usually ah. So that uses stamina. What's the stamina? Is that this yellow bar? That you uh, use to no, move that's almost like a. I don't know. Because then these are almost like the non. Some of them are non-lethal, and you can. Um, throw a character or item from the world to all your inputs. Throw a character? I can <laughs> shove, I can jump, I can dip my weapon into the surface. So if I, I presume if I'm near oil or fire or something, I can add it. I can actually can improvise throw a, a melee weapon. <laughs> I can throw the chair out. Give him the chair. I can dash so I can get more um, movement speed and that will use... That it, it, that's using an action, so these mm. all use action, so that's hiding, it's engaging or help. I think I'm just going to go for. I'm just going for a normal you attack. Can do like a rush. That's lacerate. One below it. Rush. 95 chance. Let's have a look at this. Oh, oh. That's, that didn't kill it. Miss him. I haven't got enough. No, she it did it's, her, her it's used my action mm. up, so I'm going to have to give it. End my turn. So, what can I do? Oh, I've actually got access to all these things. I, I presume you've got to be close to do it. it that's just no, but that says explode, so that might hurt uh, Pet and Lazelle, so I'm not going to do that one. That's the normal hand. Hot. Swipe at a creature to knock it prone. <laughs> so that will knock him over. Guidance. This is sweeping under your leg. I wonder leg. if I should just do my fire attack. Oh, not you, Missy. No, she, she she got got in the way. She's in the way. That you've got to get perhaps to the side and you think yeah. and then right. If that actually <laughs> finished it off, thank gosh. Okay, so I can I can move a bit closer if I need to. That's 
to end my turn, so it's that little imp. <laughs> oh. oh. God, I've got to can I, can I jump. jump. <laughs> no. And dash so I can go a bit further. Let's get right in there, mm -hmm. little brain. Get in there. Mm -hmm. Boy, can't. No, you can't. Do. No, because that <laughs> was an action. Yeah. Um, the only thing I do is jump. <laughs> so I'll be able to end your little Victory turn. Awaits. I get there. <laughs> so moving a character actually uses an action point, which is down below, which is the green, like a green circle, and it says one. I can only, obviously, moving uses that action point. And also causing a an attack of some sort well, uses that. Bonus action. Action. I could do that actually and see if, what that does. Ooh, two Didn't. damage. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to move. Actually, moving doesn't actually use the action. Taking I position. thought it did, but it doesn't. You've got a bonus action. I assume you can do now all those orange. Ones. You do have like these orange. Hammer but you're probably not in range to do. That. No target. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. Can I move a bit closer, do you think? No. I can move there. <laughs> well, that's not moving very far, is it? No. No. Yeah. have to end my turn. I can only do sort of pretty much. Do I try that? But is that going to hurt them? It well, leaves an ice surface. So you don't skid about. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to really risk it. Two, Two damage? Seriously? <laughs> can I walk? Yeah, I can walk. So if I get a little bit close. Um, I don't think I can do anything else other than turn your weapon to the magic. Four to eleven bludgeoning damage. But can I actually attack with that straight away? And shove. Can I shove it? Like this. <laughs> Invalid target. Let's. Can we get a bit closer then? Let's sh do a little shove. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? 60%? Shove. <laughs> no, he just shoved him further away though. What's <laughs> <laughs> he doing? He's... Oh, dang it. Uh, ah, you, you attacked blade. my blade. Right, that's it. Claw him. Claw him. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Blaine. When did it have a crossbow? Maybe that's what it was shooting at. I thought it was a fireball. Scimitar. I don't know how much I can actually come at hold. Potion speed. speed. Void bolt. Stop. I don't know. It's empty. Okay. Oh, no. How come it didn't say empty? Mm -hmm. Relax. So another body of a person. Another crossbow. Money. He was mm -hmm. another four. You friend though. Another four. Lie. Cradle. What? Is the lid? I don't think I want Is that to where those thralls used to lie on? Oh, but, oh uh, can I um, actually choose to heal the brain? We do have spells you could use. What is spells you could heal? Yeah, them? but I just didn't know whether I could. <laughs> um, tell it to go. It now. hasn't actually told me, has it? You have to wait until it does. <laughs> it's not actually telling me, even though it says. And I actually use my spells in out of combat. No, I use spell. Or well, do I wait? Because it, it's only lost me. It's me. Yeah. Do I wait till it gets damaged a bit? Yes. Can I loop this one? Yeah. 
the ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. That way, that's where you're supposed to go then. And there wasn't anything else, was there? At least you've got some really good camp. Look, I can even go third person. Look how close I'm getting. I think I've been down here, haven't I? Yeah. Right, let's go, gang. My trusty little brain pet. <laughs> Ooh. We did actually do that in the uh, no. previous version, did we? So let's climb up this weird gold, oh. gold bar or something. You can climb up there that quick. <laughs> oh, what was that? So I'm saving. Uh, that that says sphincter, <laughs> guys. That says sphincter. <laughs> Oh, right, Please so... Machinery. I can make no sense of it. I don't think this time I'm going to touch the console, because in the other one, you said... It's a sap. Well, that's... Well, actually, in the other one, it Where turned them dead? into... But he's totally unresponsive. You're but yeah. one step from oblivion stupor yourself, still wading through your empty skull to think a single thought. I think in the other one you like turned them into, well they turned into those mind flayers. Not turn, I think you said I killed him like it's an Well I thought they, but they look like people. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. A fleeting image washes over you, an unwashed operating table. Your innards without the headache mm. grows worse. Don't think it's... about it. <laughs> <laughs> But she always looks like she's gonna spark a uh, smile. There's somebody in there. Thunk. You! Get me out of this damn thing! A shadow. We have no time for stragglers. Um. Look for a latch that might open the lid. There's no time we need to get. Oh, look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pot. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please. Is she talking Which about one? this one? I don't know. <laughs> Rescue the Ithras. The console appears dormant. Look for a switch or release. Hit it. <laughs> yeah, that always works. <laughs> the mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you oh, there's my little brain running around. Socket. Hit it? What does that do? Nothing. It. The console is <laughs> dormant. <laughs> okay, I've, obviously I've got to leave. I've got to find like something. Got to put something, something in socket must power this thing. Yes, there must be something about them. What, what do I do with the, this console then? I know, you've got three buttons to press. <laughs> Over here then. Just be... Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Open. Got to find the key. key. So, I think that's... I have to go through here, because the other way looks possibly like a... Where I'm supposed to go. Supposed to go to the... Oh, there's another way. I don't think they're hostile. Yeah. No, you can shoot that. Ah, uh... oh, there's a key. Why did they have the key on them? How many hosts are these gay infected? The dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. You actually get her out there. I think when we pressed um, this particular console, that actually... Turned her. Yeah. Oh, healing potion. Nice. That's just a cup bug. That says Eldritch Moon, so is that worth it? Let's unlock those controls next to the pod. Uh, that's what we need. I think that doesn't do anything else, that's just going to turn her. You're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. It might uh, give me knowledge. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh, 
Oh, now she's huh. mine. Because he just ripped off all his clothing. <laughs> Do they have genders? I don't know. Don't know. I don't care. <laughs> so let's unlock this little chesty. Oh, some money and an onyx. That's what the gold key is. The console appears dormant. Insert the boon into the socket. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? It's got an arcade. Okay, I do. Oh. It's using the intelligence. Ooh, it's it's always ten, isn't it? Oh, oh I might oh, just scrape by because yeah. it's ten. <laughs> <laughs> Just the pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Hopefully, that will suddenly release you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite, then discomfort fades. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Belief. Wisdom. Will the door to open? Is that the... Is that the, the um, tab hole? Yeah, like, like they'd like to call oh, it. Oh, we've only got two to me. <laughs> and I've got a plus three on there as well, so give me 14. Brain of the console process your command and you to I think that's what the mind flows runs across your mind. You feel sated to do when they're, they're sort of using the mind. Yeah, oh, well, I hope that doesn't sort of. Oh, no, it's just at last. Thought I was done for. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. I assume they're not a very kind race. <laughs> dangerous company is what you need in a fight, damn right. Not a problem with Gathlanki. Did you feel that just now we were in each other's heads? Just highlight that one, maybe? I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. It Let me come with we. you. <laughs> we can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Yes. Of course, we need to mm -hmm. band together. Shall I'll I just... One moment. Why am I the only one that's covered kind of blood, though? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Oh gosh, we, our party is expanding. We, we actually get experience from that. Let's roll, gang. <laughs> They've got little yellow... Am I supposed to do something? There's like little yellow dots on them. There's obviously three different buttons. Last time I think I pressed them. Middle one, so what is this one? Bionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. We got those bits of well. sigil. Yeah. Those consoles. Another mystery. 
Let's just travel through this next sphincter. <laughs> Get a clucking gangland. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. I was trying to move the camera then, but uh, <laughs> who made you in charge? <laughs> Auto saving at the moment. Deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. We need to get out of here now. So I'm playing my character first and last. Okay, so what's. Oh, he looks a bit. Um... Hell's ball. Oh. He looks a bit more tougher. Do I. Let me try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, one, one left. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything else other than move. You've got a bonus going. action, but that doesn't. They can't do anything them. else other than fuck you, Julia. I think I'm spelling it wrong. Spelling it, pronouncing it wrong. Right. <laughs> um, the only thing I do because that actually uses a bonus action. I'm not going to bother for that. I'm going to end my turn there. Wayne! <laughs> Do I go... Perhaps I can go straight mm. after this little dude. Oh, it killed him. Yes, you legend. Well, I'm actually going to leave you there for the moment because I don't know where that thing is going to go. Man. He just tried to do his mind blast, and that's what they actually use to try and chuck like the charm spell. They try to take over. Um, she's still got. I think she's got a sword, doesn't she? Yeah. Um, let's go in hand to hand combat. Let's go. Well, I'm going through the fire. You just ran through the fire, didn't you? Yeah. Where do you need to go? I'll, I'll make you move down. I don't have anything. She's got second wind, but she doesn't need to use it. She's only two hit points. Well, she's a bit burning at the moment. <laughs> so, obviously, I've got to, I can't run through flame then. I, I thought perhaps they might actually automatically um, go around it. You do have that other one that helps you to be able to move further. Yeah. That's. Not that one, is it? That's dash. Right. Do it in bits, because obviously I don't want them suddenly running in. Right, what can I actually do? Can I do anything from a distance, or is it just... Okay. Can I get to... No. Oh. got to go about one. I've already used an action, you see. I don't have if that's my bonus action thing. Increasing armor I can give her that, but you to choose who to do. Perhaps I'll give it to you. She's the closest anyway. The end of turn. Lesser oh now you're gonna move. <laughs> she, she missed that. Yeah. Yes, good, you legend. Like, 
Perhaps I need to do a bit of dashing because I cannot go. Oh, that's my um, action done. I need to move a bit closer. Fine. Breathe deep and move. Go. Oh, I, I saved oh. against the ice, so I didn't Did slip on my arse. <laughs> and... Oh. You know what? Perhaps I could actually cast that. Give it a go in the next round. So I've got four, so I had a maximum of 15 turns to get to the hull. So that's what this little dial means in, on the right hand side. So I've got 14 turns remaining. And pretty much. Because if I use dash, that uses up my. Mm. That says jump. That, the thing is, that do, what does that actually do? It, it still uses movements. Oh, actually, that doesn't use as much. Okay, so. You can only go in that surface. Right. So I can jump to there and it uses less. Don't you fight? But I still can't get to him. I can't! Just gonna have to move closer. Come on, little one. There we go. Just took some more fire damage. Oh, right. So you've stopped flaming, though. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Um, his dashing uses up, so I'd get her to jump. She can jump a bit further. Into it. Save that. Get to. And jump to there. Ooh. Do I have enough? No. <laughs> ah! I do. Ask for not hear bonus action mm. so I couldn't do that. Can't do a must take a short must okay, take a short range rest. attack. Yeah I might have to do that maybe. This is always one little <laughs> point left. We get us a move as well, why not? My this and I'm next to her then. To oh my gosh. Now, after so all that away. I've literally had to Oh. I'll take this route. Might as well. I was heading that way anyway. Can't do very much. Do I, um. Perhaps I can heal, maybe? That's not busy. Oh, I could do that. Can I get that? Yes. Killed it. Ha! Right. Got the I don't know whether you can actually loot them. No, I missed my opportunity there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Healing. Do I. Touch. You have to be close. So I, to, I, I can move towards her. There you go. There we go. Just in cases. I don't think I need to do anything. Move to my next. Turn. So, doing the break and go to the. Uh... Mini jump there. No, oh, you can only. Really? So you've got little legs. <laughs> but that uses more. That doesn't make any sense. That uses just the amount of the mm. same. You go up there then. I don't think I can do anything else, can I? Other than the. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which I could have used, but mm. there's not much point because. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice one, move to there. Most, do I try attacking that thing, do you think? We've got plenty of turns there. I can't do a rushing. That must Short you rest. have to use a rest. I like forty percent high defense. Oh. Can I actually get That's it? That's forty percent chance of doing it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, do I move it. behind it then? I move behind it. Do I try it. That's only got a forty percent chance. That's got a forty percent chance. 
Hamstring. Yeah, it has to do with a bow. So that's nine percent. Yeah. It's an advantage because you're on the same level. Yeah. So do I just try it and see if it'll work? With this. Yeah. Maybe not. Make way. <sighs> Hurry before they strike. All right, let me get yeah. there. Let me get there. I just move you. <laughs> no, I interrupted. <laughs> will protect me. I use dash because let's place <laughs> it. I'm pretty far away. Okay. Get in there. Anything else I can actually do? Other than do that, but you can do that on the other side. there, maybe. Why not? Is there for a reason? If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get you to <laughs> probably get you to dash, maybe, because I think you could probably go further with dash, right? Mm, yeah, double it. Yeah. Light on my feet. Use, I haven't actually used chili egg yet. Is that no chili egg? Oh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Because you haven't gone close to anyone yet. <laughs> oh, he's not doing very well, is he? Now, I bet he's only got a 35% chance. I might as well just. Literally, yeah. could only jump there. They got little legs. <laughs> but, I mean, yes, it might save a bit on movement. Eh. Do a little jump. Go, go. We've got two. Oh, we've got two imps ahead. <laughs> Trying to use his mind. We must take the transponder. We can just about get there. Yeah. It has it. Yes. Can she do anything else? She doesn't need second wind. Really. She doesn't need to do the punish right now. End. Can't give up. How far can you jump? Oh, you can well, go further. But actually... Oh, what is the circle then? Or is it because you doing that, you ha you're moving? Yeah. Mm. I use... Do I do flame again, do you think? Sacred flame. We've even got your ice one that might get them to slip over the walking. Yeah, but that's oh, my really? character, isn't it? Um. Um, we do a good old fire damage. That's 60%. That's 80%. Is the bigger the target? I want to try and make the big target. Oh, the bit of Move up a little bit. You're gonna go. Through. Oh, you didn't miss that, Lazare. What are you doing? Hey, I don't have that. Dang it. No. Not letting me. So spells you can only use the ones. I don't know. I suppose if it's got one on it, I presume that what that means you can only use it once. Two percent, uh, two damage. Seriously? I should actually get into club him on there. But it's an well. action, so mm. I'll get right Need there. Need to find a way forward. And <laughs> give me the old claw <laughs> Aha! You ended him. Yep. Move up, little brain. <laughs> Got Eleven turns. Can I actually loot that? Right, like, there's nothing in it. <laughs> there's We've a just there established. Well. <laughs> it's in, it's don't carry it. It's almost like you, there's <laughs> nothing going to be in these. <laughs> Do I get her to move to the 
get it. That's not enough movement anyway. No. Oh. She can actually get it. <laughs> Ready. Really? Use. Worth a try. Go. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. A glimpse into somebody's secret, but expect hostility if you're caught prying. Do we have a mind reading ability? <laughs> <laughs> How would they know if you're mind reading? If they can trade items if you get low on gold, by the looks Could possibly. <laughs> Sleight of hand is up to the task. I am really impressed with how this game looks though. Mm -hmm. it's absolutely amazing. And I, I was a little bit, I have mentioned this in the other version of the, the, the co-op one, I was a little bit disappointed when they didn't um, improve or ups, you know, redo the cinematics in Baldur's Gate 1 or 2 on the console, which they could have done, but they didn't. Half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. We've actually managed to get landed or to the, <laughs> the same place that we did in the previous version. That's actually still moving. Is it still alive? Poor thing still alive. Um, but I think I'm going to end it there right now. But you can already see um, slight differences between a single player version where you're, you're getting more of the narration and obviously your thoughts coming through as well, isn't it? Yeah, because we was... did with the co op, which it didn't do so much of that, did it? Um, but yeah, when you were playing co-op, it was almost like battling which side was going to do the <laughs> talking and things. Talking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was quite yeah. annoying. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Possibly, hopefully this episode more than the the other version. Um, but yes, if we do get enough likes for this episode, then we'll can we'll do a full series of this game. But um, I am super excited and to continue this game. 
And um, but yeah, let us know what you think of this version of the episode, or perhaps you know if you want to say anything about the comparisons as well, and if you prefer this version to the last one. But as as, as I say, the, the co-op was far more chaotic and very hard to solve. It was quite cluttered because as I say, when you've got half a screen, and you don't know which one to look at. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, I mean, personally, I prefer that the, the single version at this moment in time anyway. But, um, yeah, unless they bring it out, bring out an update for it and they do it very similar to Divinity Original Sin 2, whether you can have the split screens merged into one big screen and, and, and that, then, yeah, we will do, you know, perhaps jump in as at co-op and, and, perhaps you know, if they do manage to do that. Yeah. So... Yes, hopefully, perhaps, hopefully they will bring that out, and we can, then you can jump back into it and play one of the other origin characters. Um, but yes, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this episode, and yeah, you know, if you have, just give us a cheeky thumbs up, and um, hopefully we'll see you in the next possible next episode if you really enjoy this this game. So, until then, we'll bye.